fashion friends. I want to just drop off a little word for you guys. Just a little touch or tea of encouragement with no honey. Honey. Oh yes. We something, I'm sorry. We have something that we all possess. And it's the tongue. You know, life and death lies within the power of the tongue. In this industry, we have to learn how to speak more life into situations, okay? Have you ever just had a moment where you want to just snatch somebody's life? Because, oops, hey. Because you know that you can read, that you can read the girls down, honey. But you have to know that it's not even worth it. It's not even worth throwing daggers or spitting poison out of your mouth. And I can say that I am guilty plenty of times of not sparing a girl's life. Well, I've literally had to go above and beyond and back down under the grave to make sure I pulled this hoe down with me. But fashion friend, I wanted to tell you to be on a different vibration. Be on another wave. You know what I'm saying? Speak of life into situations, speak life into your situation. The other day, right, I received a gift card in the mail. I received this gift card and I was a little short on money financially, you know, I was like, what am I gonna do, God, what am I, what's going on with me, what's gonna happen, how am I gonna, how am I gonna, how am I gonna pay this, how am I gonna pay that, how am I gonna handle this? So, what I did was, I got with a girlfriend and we started speaking things into existence. I was saying, you know what? I'm going to have financial stability. I'm going to have checks coming in the mail for me. I'm going to have such and such. I'm going to have this and that. So we just started speaking just in general of all the things that we want to bring into fruition, bring into life. Because you have to manifest those things with your tongue. The power of the tongue is so real and I'll tell you why and I'll, I'll show you how it's real. When I got home, I went to the mailbox and guess what was waiting for me? A check, honey. A check was waiting for me. Yes, God. And then what's really funny is that I went upstairs to kind of like go over my, to kind of like tally up my night and go through my clutch and things. And I found that I lost my gift card. And I was like, look at God. Look, look at this. Look what the universe did. I lost that gift card, but I was provided a check. Are you, are you following where I'm going with this? How I was kept? Now, some may just say, oh, you just got a check in the mail. But I say, but by the grace of God. And I even looked at the situation and I said, you know what? I did what I had to do with that gift card and the money that was on it. If I lost it, may that money be able to bless somebody else who's, who needs it because I was kept anyway. And I was kept financially in the first place because earlier before the situation had happened, I spoke into existence that check. I spoke into existence my financial stability and it was taken care of. This is how you know life and death by the power of the tongue is real. Have you ever just been having a real bad day? You woke up not feeling good. You, you, you just stubbed your toe. You dropped something. You broke something. You couldn't find the perfect high heel. The hairstyle wouldn't get right. The front wouldn't lay down, honey. Like, happens all the time. And so you get inside the car and all of a sudden hoes don't know how to drive because girl, people around here cannot drive to save their souls because they got all these little raggedy cars. They want to tear your car up because your car is new. So you cuss these hoes out and you're like, what's going on? And you just keep speaking all the negativity and all, of the, all day long you just got some craziness is coming at you. Because you're writing your own story of negativity. But then when you're able to change the vibration and you're able to change the frequency of what you're saying out of your mouth and start putting positive things into the atmosphere, you'll see how these things begin to manifest. Law of attraction is real. It, it, it absolutely is real. I was on the phone with another good, good girlfriend, honey, and um, she was just talking so negative over her life. And I was just like, you know what? You're draining me with your depressing story. Like, just, just the Debbie Downer and just being down and just on that old MJB my life tour Kurt you know them kind of girls we already talked about them I can't do you girl not right now I gotta hang you up because right now my vibration is on high and I don't got time for no low vibrations and that's how you have to be 
fashion friends, you're really, I know that sometimes we can get so caught up and especially with social networking that we begin to beat ourselves up we begin to say things about ourselves we begin to feel some kind of ways and you know it's 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 natural it's human that sometimes we can feel down about something but it's what you do with that thought and it's what you do with that vibration that counts if you continue to dwell on something and to let that negativity or that negative vibration resonate in your life it will begin to eat away at you and it will begin to write a nightmare not a fantasy or a good story it will begin to create and write a nightmare for yourself there's a lot of you that have dreams of being singers hairstylists makeup artists transitioning to a whole other city but sometimes you have to realize the story that you all are creating in regards to fear um, doubt self-hatred, self-loathing. You have to change that story, change that frequency. And it doesn't happen overnight. You know, it, it, it never happens overnight. Well, it could if you're that good. But it doesn't happen overnight, but you have to learn how to start practicing those things. There are a few things that I do practice and some just like call it a little stone crazy, but I believe it's just natural to me. It's just common sense. In order for me, to attract the right things in my life, I have to have a purified purification of an atmosphere of my own. So, I try to say once a week, I try to do it once a week, but I sage my home. Yes, I do. I white sage my home, I sure do. I take sage and I burn it throughout my home. I have certain things that I light and things, and it's called the purification of your home, ridding of certain spirits or certain energies that need to go. I do those things because when I speak all these amazing things into existence, I want my channel to be clear. I want my atmosphere to be clean because when that blessing comes in for me, I need for her to be well received. So these are things that I do. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped you. That was the tea. Wasn't that good?